There's a medicinal quality to a pong beer. And the process of making it here in Majuli, Assam starts with collecting herbs and leaves that are said to contain healing properties. When mixed in, they give a halo to the pale and mildly alcoholic rice beer traditionally consumed by the missing community. Master brewer Janali Rasong knows exactly which herbs growing in this tropical island on the Brahmaputra River will add the right punch. She collects and dries them out in her home near Garmur town before crushing them in a blender. She stores the light green powder until later. By 6 in the morning, on most days, Junali gets a wood fire burning in the backyard to cook a large pot of rice. The people in Assam cultivate a wide variety of paddy, but the rice that they get at ration shops can also be used to make beer. It's the fermentation that matters, Junali says. Nongzana pong is made with just rice, while poro pong has the added flavor of the burnt paddy stalks. A litre of both these types of apong sells for 100 rupees in the local market. Junali is making poro apong here. She'll use the paddy stalks that were left smouldering on a tin sheet since the previous night. They must smolder, not burn, to get a gentle smoky flavor. There's no time to waste once the rice is cooked. The ash of the burnt stalks must be mixed in quickly. Janali stops whatever she's doing and moves the cooked rice to a bamboo basket where it'll cool faster. She begins mixing the rice and paddy ash with a plate first and then, plunging her bare hands in, she kneads, mashes and mixes, crushing any lumps. The mixture is stored away in a bag for about 20 days until the smell of fermentation is apparent. A pong is consumed by the missing people with special meals during festivals and celebrations. When the demand is high, Janali sometimes makes two rounds of this special beer in a single day.